Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dave Bowman. I'm from NASA, from Hampton, Virginia. And uh, I am part of a, a large network of uh, NASA employees that are stretched all the way from Mexico here to Holton, uh, Maine. I am a science junkie and I've been waiting for this for the past seven years. I kind of made a promise to myself that no matter what, I would not miss this one. Hey, my name's Aaron, I'm from Saskatchewan. My name is Tom Chalmers McLaughlin and I'm from Peaks Island, Maine. My name is Venu, Venu Gopal, I'm from Chelmsford, Massachusetts. You, you excited to be here? Why'd you, why'd you come? Ah, okay, I was initially planning to go to Dallas and uh, I skipped it because of the national weather forecast has been pointing Hughes, uh, Houlton to be the best place to be. And I still think it is, even though there is a little bit of a cloud here. Uh, so I think, I think probably this is the best place in the United States for that matter to be around to see this eclipse. I made the decision to go to Dallas almost a year or a year and a half ago. And we booked the flights also even by that time. But as things got closer in the last two and a half weeks, weather forecast looked like Dallas was getting cloudier and cloudier and it never changed. So finally, I looked at it on last Friday, whether to go to Vermont or to Houlton, decided it was Houlton. So you had to pick one or the other. You were betting on Dallas having exactly. better weather. And many of us, many, many astronomers have actually gone to Dallas already and now they're scrambling to find a better place within Texas itself. The first eclipse was in 1980. And the second one, 2017, 1981, I was in India, uh, 2017 in Tennessee, and now I'm here. I couldn't miss it for the life of me. Right on. I couldn't be any happier with the turnout today. Thank you very much. Partial eclipse has started, so with your glasses on, you can look at the sun and look at the bottom right hand uh, of, of the sun, and you can start seeing the black spot going across. We are about an hour exactly away from totality. One hundred percent is a whole different experience. With 98 and 99 percent, you're not going to see the chromosphere around the sun. With 100 percent, you're going to look back and it's like, I can take off my solar glasses and look at the sun during totality. 98 and 99 percent, I'm sorry, oh, okay. you're not going to do that.
My name is Venugopal. That's how you do it. Total Solar Eclipse. See you in Egypt in two years.